Hello, and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode, we set up coal power down below on the lower deck. And up here on the upper deck, we're going to set up some steel processing. Steel smelting. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work ahead of time, setting up some belts from those two coal nodes there. Uh, it's a Mark II belt after the, mer the merge, the conveyor merger. Uh, coming in here, also I've set up most of the iron uh, coming from that iron node there, which is a pure iron node. So that's also a Mark II belt coming over here. Uh, just to finish hooking it up, I set up these uh, conveyor lifts here. Uh, they go up uh, 40 meters and then 40 meters again about. I'm not exactly sure what the maximum height of them is. It might be about 50 meters, maybe 60. It's not the full 80 that I would have needed to get all the way up here. Um, and then I have those other two belts of coal that I think we hooked up the last time. Um, we're only using one right now. I'm not sure what we use the other one for just yet. Maybe more power. But uh, for now, uh, it'll just wait. And then, of course, we have our copper there. I'm going to take the express lane down, which is right here. Almost. Right here. And we have a biter. And it's a big biter. Okay, let's get back on the land. Where'd he go? There he is. Can I come here? Yeah, it's a big one. And that's the last of my rebar. Okay, well, we're gonna have to take care of him. Problem is, since he's in the water, I can't I can't uh, hit him with the sword because I can't wield a weapon in the water. But I guess he can't either. I have to do this carefully. Maybe not. <laughs> Try that again. Eh, he's on the land now. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't be a wuss. Let's go. There we go. Got him. Pick up the carapace. Well, three carapaces for medium. Medium one. Oh, that's not where we're going. We're going to the iron. Okay, so I've started upgrading these, or setting these up as Mark II belts. I have run out of... Uh, reinforced iron plates, so I needed to go back up to the base to pick up some. Let's make sure that we have everything upgraded to Mark II. Like it is. And so I built this little staircase here. Oops, too far. Built this little... Those Skatarian boots are, uh, quite powerful on the jump. I guess in a staircase, because it's not stairs. Ramp case. Yeah, sure. And then, finally, there to there. I have the power hooked up. It should be going now. Okay, and I think I made this lift already a Mark II. Yes, I did. Okay. Let's go down to the bottom again. And jump from here. Although, I guess it would have been beneficial to jump onto the belt. So while that's coming this way, we need to have a Mark II lift, just like the coal one there, which I may not even have enough to do, but we could set it up with a Mark I to start with, and then go from there if I need to. Eh, might be able to have enough. So I can't eyeball that well enough, so if, as you can see, I built a little catwalk up there at the 40 meter line, so that I can go uh, halfway and then uh, split it. I haven't decided I may use that catwalk. Or may use that, that 40 meter level. We'll have to kind of see. And this is the dizziness that I saved you guys from in the last episode or the one before that. Um, hopefully it's not too painful. But I wouldn't use it where the power is here anyway because the smoke's a little too close. But I could use it on that end of the base if there's something I wanted to process that I didn't have enough room for on the upper level anymore. Okay, so that's 36. We're not going to have enough. 
to get all the way up to the top. So I'm going to just go ahead and switch this to a lift mark one. We'll set it up with that, and then you're not going to let me snap it. Well, I guess we have to do <laughs> all of it as a mark one. And then we go up to the top and do the same thing. Carrying boots only make this worse. This this circular running uh, for the for the uh, vision. Okay. And then I guess I should have some back of holes here, just for argument's sake. And I'll go ahead and upgrade one of these lifts to Mark II. Oh yeah, this one's even more expensive than the other one was. And then we can set up steel so uh, let's see let's look at what it what it's gonna take I'm gonna take some foundries I'm not lining it up just yet I'm just getting it positioned I'll probably put it on this side actually uh, steel ingots take 45 iron ore per minute 45 coal per minute to produce 45 steel ingots per minute we have 120 once I upgrade that that lift 120 of each coming in so that means we're looking at about Three, just under three found foundries. Um, if I can get some iron from somewhere else, and I add this coal that we're not using, which are one of these we're not using, I think it's this one. Uh, for power, if I added that in, we got some iron maybe from the rest of the base down there because we have some extra. Uh, I could combine that together and get up to 180, and then we could have four. So I think we'll plan for four and go from there. We'll also have Mark II Miners before too long, so we can also plan for that. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space here. And then we'll do... Do the foundries. Let's see. Turn, turn, turn. Maybe we'll just do, like... Here. There. Yeah, that's a good spot. Okay, let's just go ahead and set up four if I have all the materials I need. It looks like I do. Two. Three. Four. Actually, maybe I want to set them up... Yeah, I think I want to set them up the other direction. Try that again. And I could have done the middle mouse click on that one. Let's go a little bit away here from the edge again. Put it up right here. You need a few more foundations, I think, to place this last one. No! It fits perfectly. Couldn't have planned that much better if I tried. Is that a recipe for steel? So there's a few ways to do to do the lifts here. Uh, we could bring one belt in at the sort of normal belt height with the um, with the with the regular sta uh, stackers, and we could put the second one up at uh, level with that maybe, and then bring in some lifts. We only need 45, so we only need to have lift mark two. That's actually the right spot, even. Let's do this, yeah. Okay. So we need to have... Uh, let's see. Go down here to the end. Yeah, centered. Uh, can I go there? I think so. This will need to be a Mark II eventually, but we don't have reinforced iron plates for it just yet. And then the other one will come in. Let me grab just a conveyor pole. Here. And to somewhere in this neighborhood. Let me do a splitter. And 
And it doesn't matter which input is which product. You can do either one to either input. As long as you do one to each. Oh, I guess we can... Well, do we need that splitter there? We don't, actually. We'll have to actually cut the belt off differently here. And then this one actually isn't needed either, but we'll figure that out in a moment. Let's do... Do this. I'm using the arrows to line it up with since I can't see it. Although I guess I could have done this differently now that I'm doing it. If I... If I don't use the belt first, then it'll snap to the grid, and then I can make sure that it's lined up correctly. Actually, let me show you one other thing that we could do. Take this belt out these out. I forgot, I always forget about this particular method. But if we take our splitter, and we stack for the three high, and then we remove the bottom two, and I could have used the control click that I forgot before I started. Did I put that one right? No. Dang it. I hate it when it does that. I hate it when it turns them, because you can't then put one underneath to make it place again. I need to make sure that I place them correctly. At least the third one needs to be correct. Because now the input is there where it should be. So this actually makes sure... I always forget about this method, but this makes sure that they are squarely aligned. And... you don't have any weird belts going on. Okay... And do I want the splitter here, or do I want to do something different? I think I want to do something a little bit different with this one. Let's see. I want it one, two. I want it just like this. Because then when we connect this up like this, and we connect the lift up like that, we should be able to get a... No. Why not? Am I too far away? It was, right? Is it too close? Maybe it's too close. That's what it is. It's too close. That gonna be a problem. Let me look at what this lift looks like here. That's clicking in. What I'm not sure of is will the lift still click in this far out? This is gonna be misaligned, but at least prove the point. Nope, I gotta move these. No, I didn't want to do that. Man. In the wrong direction. Okay. Let's do another lift now. So they do click in still. Okay, well I'm gonna put them that far away then. Oops. Not with the sword. Not with the ladder either. Okay, let's remove these. Do it the fast way here. Oops, forgot about that one. Okay, we can remove these. We don't need them. We do want this stanchion pole. And we want to have a splitter here.
think those are all lined up. Yep. Oh, then we need, I guess we need the second and third ones here. There we go. Okay, and then lift one from there, there. And these only need to be Mark 1 lifts because they're only taking 45 items. Then finally, this one goes like that. And this belt is fine to also be Mark 1. And then we need a conveyor pole right there for that. Keep setting just these up with Mark 1 belts. Um, nope, not that. Right click. There we go. Go there. There, to there, to there. Here. There, to there. And then we need to bring in the iron and the coal. Again, it doesn't matter which one goes where. Let's do this one. I think it's here. Yep, that's perfect. And then this one, I will... I think I'll leave it up there. I'll bring it into back pole... Right here. Yes. And then again, do mark ones for right now. And that goes in there. That's in there. And we should be off and running. Oops, I missed a belt. Holes coming in. Iron's going in. Iron is stuck here because these don't have power. Right, 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 right. Power poles. There. And here. There. And then we just need to take our power line. We need to connect to these over here someplace. Uh, let me grab that. Where are we at? Out here. Okay. We'll get the alert here soon. That power line is too long. Yes, it is. But it's too long in a bad spot. So I think I'm going to put the pole here. Will you connect? Yes, you will. And then we'll run back. And we'll put it where it marks it here. Wait a minute. Are we... It is just barely too long. Okay, we're going to go right there with it. And then go there. And they've just heated up. So, as I said, they're not going to get the full amount because we don't have enough... Uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, reinforced iron plates. But at least we get some going. And once I upgrade the belts with the, with the reinforced iron plates, we'll have even more. Now let's look at uh, what else there is. What can we make next? Uh, production, constructor. We can make steel beams, which take four ingots to make one beam. We make steel pipes, it takes takes three ingots. By the way, once we get everything hooked up, if we bring the iron from the other side of the base, we'll be making 180 ingots per minute, which is a lot. Um, these are these take 60 per minute. I guess I want to do it this way. And these take 30 per minute. So we can see kind of what the ratio is we need between pipes and... Oopsie. Between pipes and uh, beams. What else can we make? Anything else here? No. Set up a, an assembler. See what it will make. The versatile framework takes the modular frames that we're making at the base. At the other part of the base. And 12... <laughs> Steel ingots. Wow. Okay. And that looks like that's it 
for here. Uh, the only other recipes there are... Let's do a craft bench. I could have just done the craft bench originally, but I wanted to see what the rates of consumption were. Oh, I have... I have iron and coal in my inventory. You can dump that in one of the uh, foundries. Those two... Actually, that looks like those two plus the um, the frameworks are it uh, for now. But the rest of the stuff is found. Uh, it's not has yet to be researched. Let's dump this stuff in probably the end one because it's going to get the smallest percentage. Let's let you have that. Let you make those. I'm going to take some of these with me. Wow, we're getting quite a few already. Yeah, well, that's 177. We're going to head back to the hub and see what there is available for us uh, to research. We might need either the beams or the pipes to do the research. I know one of the two of them is used to make Mark III belts, so we're definitely going to need more of those. Pick up some reinforced iron plates from these machines while we're here. Because this is where they're backing up into. We're still making the modular frames out of them, of course. I've been stealing them from those two machines for several episodes now. And uh, all of our biomass power is gone. We spent it all. Okay, so vehicular transport. We could do this one. Um... We have all the stuff we need. We just need to get some more rods. But we have all the stuff made we need. Advanced steel production to make the encased industrial beams. So we need pipes to do this research. Uh, Mark II miners would be something we'd want to do soon. Uh, especially for the steel making. If we wanted to boost that iron. Instead of bringing iron in from over here. Automated wiring is part number three for the space elevator. We're going to need to do that as well. Uh, motors. Stators. So until we do this research... I won't know exactly um, exactly what we need. These are, I'm assuming these are the, the steel beams, and I think it's concrete to make those. I'm sure we need steel beams or pipes for the miners. The stators, I think, is pipes. I could look online for the recipes, but I, um, I, don't, I don't want to. I want to kind of do this organically as best as possible. Hypertubes are going to take presumably some steel pipes since that's where the research is and probably the encased beams as well. And then finally, conveyor belts mark three, stackable pipeline support, which would have been nice to have earlier, industrial storage containers, uh, all this stuff will also need plenty of beams and pipes. So I think we'll just set up a few of each to start with, if, if, uh, making the beams and the pipes, and kind of to see where we go. Um... Probably more beams than pipes, because we get one beam out of the recipe, or two pipes out of the recipe. Uh, let's do some quick napkin math here. We're currently producing 120. Um, that's the maximum we can do. If we want to get an even number of these out, we'll need eight ingots for beams, plus three ingots for pipes. That's 11. So if we did... Um, that's a lot, actually. That's really a lot of, um, ingots and pipes. Wait a minute. Let's actually let's look at output rates. This makes fifteen a minute. So if we did four of these and three of these, because it's twenty per minute, that gives us sixty per minute of each. That's sixteen ingots plus 9 ingots is 25 ingots per minute. No, it's not. It's not, because I'm doing the math wrong. Let's do this again. Assembler, no. Constructor. We can't do that many. How about if we do... If we did two of these, that's 120 already. So we can't really do two of these. And if we did one of these, that's 30 more. So let's do let's do one pipe, two uh, beams, and we'll just downclock the beam. I think that's the best 
solution. Let's grab the rest of the uh, reinforced iron plates that are here. Whatever's backed up. We're producing... I can't remember how many we're producing right now, but these we're only using six. I think we're producing eight per minute. These are rotors. Screws. Here we are. Boing. We're producing ten, and we're consuming six. So that's why they get backed up, because we're producing over, which is what I intended to do. see what all we can upgrade. Uh, logistics. Conveyor Mark 2. That's the first thing because it's the first one. And let's see if we can... Oh, I have this I have this outlook here. Overlook. Let's see here. That goes. Excellent. And then Conveyor Mark 2 from here into here. Uh, we need a Conveyor Mark 2 right here. I need a conveyor mark to or conveyor belt to there. There. Each of these are consuming 45. So after the first machine is done, we have 75 on the belt. After the second machine is done, we have less than 60. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut these belts off here and here. That way these don't get... This one doesn't get used at all. Because we're not going to have... I thought so. Because okay, we're not going to have that much right now anyway. So I shouldn't be planning for it. Okay, so we need to combine these into... Uh, Let's see. Let me go back to the assembler. No. The constructor. For these, we're going to need 60 per minute. If I set up two, that's 120. And then if I do these, that's 30. Each one of these is outputting 45. So I think I want to actually go ahead and combine really technically all four of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and combine all four of them. Just to make life easier. The right there maybe. There. Nope. Oh, I have this one wrong too. Okay, here we go. Once again. There. There. Okay, good. Those will reach. Those will reach. I'm going to go ahead and connect this one because it doesn't really matter. One, two, back, and go. 45 coming out of each one, so this belt actually needs to be a Mark II. Starting here. Uh, well, it doesn't because we don't have that much coming out, but I'm going to go ahead and make it a Mark II. So I don't forget later. As long as I have the, power, uh, the materials. You know what? Maybe I won't. Yeah, let's not. I'll rem I'll, I won't remember later, and you guys can yell at me. Okay. Uh, we need... Instructors. Might actually rotate this one. Yeah, let's take that out. Oopsie. Don't delete the machine. Delete the belts. Let's take this merger and actually make it go this way instead. You go here... All right, come on. Snap two. You go here. And then we can put a splitter in right here. Taking from... Yep, from that side. And then an assembler. No, constructor. Go jump on top of this. Is that a good spot? Let's 
good enough. The widths of the buildings are a little bit different, so you end up with some, some varying... Uh, no, I'm going to put the pipe first. Because I want to make sure that I make all the pipes I can. And then what's left over will go to the beams. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to consume 30. Do this here. And then we need to do two more constructors here and here. One and two. Litter goes there. Nope, I missed. Use the guidelines. There you go. And this is a this will need to be a mark two right here. And then we'll do another mark one. One, two, and in you go. And you are beams. And you are beams. Okay, power pole. Right there. That looks good. Changing plans. I want to put this here. This here. And leave a space for one more pipe constructor. Uh, just Or one more constructor that's potentially pipe constructor. Okay. And then we'll do a power pole there. And a power pole there. Power line. There. There. And there. Fill these guys up. Let them run at full full blast right now. You're going already. Good. And then I think I will just do a merger right here. Two. There. There. These are only outputting 15 each, so that's only 30. And then we'll put a bo couple boxes in here. Organization. Storage. I'm out a bit just for fun. Maybe there. And there. This one is 20, I think, so either way, it's way less than a Mark 1 belt. And that should handle those. Okay, so you're consuming only, you only need 30, so you're never going to get not backed up. These ones are the ones that are going to get it backed up. No. Yeah, the pipes are backed up. Or the belts are backed up, right. There they go. Now they've unbacked themselves. Almost. Almost. There we go. Okay. So we just need to collect a few of these and then go over and start some of the research up for the advanced steel and uh, whatever else it was. Uh, one thing I can do before I forget, since as you all are going to know, I will forget it, and that would be to upgrade this belt for later. That one's fine. This one's good. Good. I think that's the only one that we were missing that needed to be upgraded. This one here is good. I hope. 
Those are going at full blast. There's not a stop in them, so that's good. I can probably take out this now. I don't need it. And everything is on its way. Excellent. Okay, let's pick up some of the... Whatever's made of the pipes and the beams. I don't know that that was enough. I don't remember what that research was. I think it was at least a couple hundred pipes, though. Um, so maybe I wait. Maybe we end the episode here. We're just past a half hour anyway. We end the episode here. Uh, we'll come back next time. I'll pick up some of the beams and the pipes after they complete. And we can do some of the research. And I think next time uh, we might do a little bit of hard drive exploration as well. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you then. Bye for now.